guys, this is Jana with Lighters Health and I'm here today because I want to teach you how to do some home exercises with dumbbells. I have 3 pounds, 5 pounds and 10 pounds, it doesn't matter, just use light weight if you're just starting and let's do it. So the first things that we're going to do is warm up our shoulders. So we're going to start with some shoulder circles and let's do about 12 reps flying back circles and then 12 reps forward good and then let's go so bring your elbows shoulder height and your elbows are bent at 90 degree angles and then we're gonna bring our arms up and then to elbow height up and elbow height just warming up our deltoids And then we're going to bend and make sure you keep your hips back, engage your core, keep your shoulders down, palms facing each other. And we're going to open and close, kind of like trying to bring your shoulder blades back together and back. You're not using your upper traps, you're using your knee traps, so make sure your shoulder blades are coming together. And you're not feeling tension on your neck or your upper traps. Seven, eight, and when I'm talking, I miss count, so we might be doing more than 12. <laughs> Two, and one. Good. Okay. So from there, let's just go crossing arms. Four, five, six, seven. Engage your core, make sure you're Feeling your feet against the floor. You don't need tennis shoes or anything. Make sure you're feeling your arches coming up. I missed. I think we have one more on each side. And we're going to do everything again. Arm circles. And every time we're doing these exercises, we're engaging our core and our glutes so that we don't hurt our low back. Good. Okay, so now we're going to bring elbow shoulder height. And the arms come up and down. Hands go just to elbow height and come back up. Good. Now let's go here. Flying. Keep the tailbone on the way back. Engage your core. Keep your feet on the floor. Make sure you feel your arches coming up. So engage all the muscles on your foot, feet, both feet. And one more here, crossing. Try to breathe through your nose.
two and one and we're going to do this one more time circling back three four five six seven eight nine ten two one and forward eleven ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bend the elbows elbows are kind of like shoulder height and when i say kind of is because if you feel pain in your neck it's okay to have your elbows a little bit lower if you feel like your upper traps are engaging then you can bring your elbows a little lower it's okay but we're trying our best to keep the elbows shoulder height four three two and one and we're gonna fly one more time so you're trying to keep your torso kind of parallel to the floor engaging the feet keeping your shoulders down engaging your core and go and it's not about using momentum either try to go slow seven eight nine ten two and one more one good and now we're gonna cross again one you can bend a little bit the elbow if that feels good or you can keep your arms straight because we're using pretty light weight whatever feels comfortable it's just a warm-up so we're using light weight whatever that is for you could be 10 could be five, could be 15, could be three pounds, whatever works for you. The main thing is you gotta be able to do 12 reps. By the eighth repetition, and it should be getting a little bit hard. By 12, and it should be hard. Nine, and 10, hopefully I'm counting this right. Two, one more, and one, good okay so from there we're going to start warming up our core with inch warms so <coughs> you're going to stand in the back of your mat if you have a mat if not you can use the floor i'm pretty spoiled so i love cushion for my knees because i tore my acl meniscus before so i like to use cushion but you stand in the back of your mat and then you're going to engage your core Tuck the tailbone in and hinge from your hips. Reach for the floor. If you can't bring your arms to the floor, it's okay to bend your knees a little bit to, to reach the floor. And then you're gonna slowly walk your hands all the way to plank. Hands are underneath your shoulders now. And then engage your core and your glutes here. Make sure everything is engaged. Tuck the tailbone in. Don't let this happen. Don't let your low back arch like this. Make sure you're tucking the tailbone in, engaging the core and the glutes, and then you walk back. Keep the core engaged the whole time so you can protect your back. And it's okay to bend your knees if you have to. And we're gonna go back. So we're gonna do this 12 times. Two. If you want a little bit more, we can go with a push-up. I'm going to try with the push-up right now. Three. And if you can't do the full push-up, it's okay. You can bring your knees to the floor. If you want to try this, you can bring your knees to the floor and modify it. So bring your knees to the floor and that's a push-up right here. Because the main thing is that you don't hurt yourself. And I'm just moving these weights out of the way. And let's keep going. Four. And when you're doing a push-up, make sure your elbows are not flying all the way away from you. You want them to be close to your body. They don't need to be touching your body either, but they're not at 90 degree angles either. Hands are underneath your shoulders. You're almost kissing the floor. 
Also, don't let your hips come first. Try to keep your hips and your shoulders coming down and up together in the same alignment. That's eight, I think. Nine. One. Good job. Now let's circle, bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, and start circling your hands to the right first. And after 10 circles, let's circle to the left. And breathe, your heart rate should be coming up a little bit with this exercise. Your core should be warm, your shoulders, your arms, whole body, this exercise is a whole body. One. Good, so let's warm up our wrists a little bit more here. And what I want you to do is go on your knees Bring your hands with your fingers facing towards your knees. And then you're gonna try to sit. And it's okay to bring your hands closer to your knees here. And just try to sit down, go back and forth. If you want a little bit more, you bring your hands a little farther away. Just stand like this. You wanna work out with me? Yeah, I love you. One. Okay, so we're gonna turn the palms up now towards the floor. Try to really open your fingers as wide as you can there. And then we're gonna sit down again. Remember, if you need to bring your hands closer to your knees, that's good. If you need a little, a little farther away, whatever feels good and comfortable. Four, three, two, and one, good. Okay, now we're gonna do some bridges to press. So you're gonna lay down, you don't have to grab the weights like I did, you can lay down and then you grab the weights. The elbows are gonna be about a 45 degree angle from your body, so 60 degree angle not a 90 degree angle, not here. I want them here, closer to your body. Your feet should be right, hip width apart, straight forward. You're pushing the floor with the balls of your feet and your heels, I want it to, and the edges too, the outside of your foot, and your big toe. Everything should be on the floor except for your arches that should be coming up. And then you're gonna bring your hips up and then you press, and then you bring your hips down and come back down. If you want, you can do both. You can come here, and if it's too much, you can go hips first, then press, bring your weights down, hips down. Hips up, then press, bring the weights down, hips down. Squeeze the butt cheeks together, press, or whatever is your preference, whatever feels good in your body. You don't wanna injure yourself. I don't know what's your level. So. Let's do 12.
four more. Two and one. Good. From there, we're gonna go into deadlifts to row. How do you deadlift? <coughs> so when you're deadlifting, it's kind of like for a woman, it's kind of like you're shaving your legs. So you're gonna bring the weights, touching your legs, and you're gonna shave all the way down and then come all the way up, squeezing, keeping tension on your butt. And your core is engaged the whole time. So to that lift, you bring your butt all the way back, tailbone all the way back, hinging from your hips, engage your core, come down here, make sure you're looking down. I don't want you looking up. Got to keep that straight alignment on your spine. Come back up and squeeze your glutes. So this is the deadlift here, but we're combining two things. So we're going to deadlift, row, and then come back up. So we're going to do this 12 times with the heavy weight. A little bit heavy, right? This is 10 pounds. This is not heavy for me, but we're going to do it with 10 pounds right now because I'm trying. Okay, let's do it. Row and come back up. Hips all the way back. Row, come back up. Keep the chin down, chin in, look down. Row, come back up. Again, you're not feeling stress on your neck here. You're really trying to use your lats to row. So row and come back up, squeezing those glutes. Core and glutes are contracted the whole time. Let's shave the legs all the way back, tailbone down, I mean back, row and come back up. I think this is six. Let's do six more. And if it's not, better for you. A little bit more reps. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. One more. Okay, we're gonna come back into bridges to press again, one more time. So lay down when you're in the floor. Hands, arms, elbows are about 45 to 60 degrees away from your body. Feet is hip width apart, straight. Press the heels and the balls of your foot and the toes and the edges of your foot against the floor. Squeeze your glutes as much as you can and push your hips up towards your ceiling and then you press. And then you come back down and hip, bring your hips down. And let's, and if you want, you can go here too. I prefer this. You can modify it and do whatever feels better for you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, one more, one, good. And we're gonna do it again. That leads to row. So we're gonna stand up and I'm gonna move a little farther so you can see my head. Okay. Engage your core, make sure you bring the hip, hinge from the hip, bring the tailbone all the way back, and let's shake the legs. And squeeze everything, and row, squeeze everything at the top. Row, squeeze, row, squeeze. Four, I think. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. And if it is too easy for you, you can always do more reps too, you know? 
because the weights that we have at home sometimes are light. We're gonna lay down and do one more set of bridges to press. So feet hip width apart, straight, squeeze your glutes, contract your core, push all corners of your foot against the floor and push your hips up towards the ceiling and then your arms, press your arms up and back. You can stay right here or you can go with me and we're gonna start in one, two, three, core is engaged the whole time, four, five, just touch the butt to the floor and come back up, keep the tension on all the muscles, eight, nine, ten, two, one. Good, now we're going to do one more exercise for today and that one is going to be the lunges to curl. So, here you go. Okay, so lunges to curl, let's do this. Hopefully you can see my head. So you're gonna step back. When you're doing a lunge, make sure you're stepping back. And when you lunge all the way down, your heel is all the way up. So you want your feet to be perpendicular to the floor. And you want your leg and your torso to be in one line here. Your knee should not be passing your toes. You, and your ear you should be able to be seeing your big toe here when you're lunging. And that means your knee is not caving in. Your knee is actually aligned with your second and third toe when you're doing this, okay? Engage your core, squeeze your glutes. You're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch on your hamstrings. And we're gonna curl. So we're gonna curl as you come down. So curl and then come up. So this is actually, I. you can stay here. If you want more, you can step and step back and lunge with the opposite, okay? So, whatever works. If you stay on one side, you have to do the other side 12 times too, okay? Three, four, and you don't have to go all the way down like I'm going. You can stay up here. That's good. As long as you're not feeling pain on your knees, that's good. Four more. This is gonna be followed by a plank. Because there's nothing better than a plank for your core. So your elbows are gonna be underneath your shoulders. You're gonna tuck your tailbone in and engage that core as much as you can. Engage all the muscles of your quads, hamstrings, calves, arms, everything should be engaged. Keep your shoulders down, don't let your traps become overactive. A lot of us are under the stress of what's going on, become if the traps overactive. It's like stress, right? So let's try to relax. Bring your hands here. If you can't take your knees off the floor, bring your knees to the floor here. Tuck the tailbone in though. I don't wanna see, I don't want you doing this. I can't see it, but I don't wanna see a, I don't want you having an arch like this. This is bad for your low back. So tuck, engage the core as much as you can here. Engage your shoulders, your lats, your serratus anterior, for those of you who understand what I'm talking about. Uh, and then if you need more, take your knees off the floor and let's stay there. 
And guess what? I don't have a timer, so I'm counting. So I shouldn't talk. Because if I talk, I will miscount and we will be here for longer than a minute, as it always happens. <laughs> but, okay, let's do it. If you're shaking, it's working, because this is an isometric contraction, which means all your muscles are engaging for a longer period. And if you're shaking, it's working. That's what makes us strong. It's actually getting, we get strong by holding here in isometric contractions. So if you want to strengthen your muscles, you do this. And there's so many isometric contractions you can do for the whole body. We're gonna work in this as we go. Today's blank, because I love blanks. Squeeze everything. And breathe. Keep your elbows underneath your shoulders. My mat is not very good and I'm sliding. But it has a lot of cushion, which I need. I think that was about a minute, so we're gonna come back down. Push yourself back and we're gonna go back into lunges to curl. By the way, this movie was created by request for a very special person. So I hope you do this. <laughs> Cause I was gonna do something else. Okay. Lunges to curl. And remember, you can stay here. This is good right here or you can walk back i like back lunges it protects your knees and since i don't know who's gonna do this with me i just want to be safe and if this is too much it's okay you can just hold onto your sofa or a chair and just do the lunges and just go as low as you can you don't have to do the curls. Or you can just do the curls. Don't do the lunges. The main thing is don't stop moving. And since I lost how many more, uh, we're gonna do five more. Two more. Last one. And let the weights go. We're gonna go one more plank. So make sure you can keep your knees on the floor, but tuck the tailbone in, engage your core. Keep your neck long. Keep your chin in, head back. Don't let your head come forward like this. I see a lot of people planking and their hair heads coming here. Push the head back as if there's something stinky right here and you don't want to smell it. Squeeze the glutes, the core, your shoulders, your arms, legs, quads, everything. And let it shake. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. Breathing, don't stop breathing. A little bit longer, let's do 30 more seconds. Remember, if you're feeling this in your low back, you're not tucking your tailbone enough. 
Squeeze those glutes, contract the core. Tuck, 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 engage the quads. Everything should be engaged. The last minutes are the hardest. The last seconds are the hardest. And I hope I didn't say we're gonna do 25 more minutes. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go back to lunges one more time. Less time, less time, let's do it. Lunges to curl. Keep your elbows close to your body too. I want your elbows close to your body. So we do this with perfect form. Remember what I said when we're lunging. Back leg is aligned with your torso, your knees not passing. Your toes, knees aligned with your ankle, back foot, the heel is all the way up. I'm still a little bit sick. So I'm feeling this. But I'm recovering, so it's time to start moving. More than just hiking. Two more. One more. Good. And we're gonna do planks again. One more set of planks. Last set of planks. Squeeze everything. Tuck the tailbone in, head is back, chin is in, everything is engaged. Make sure you're feeling this in your core, glutes, everywhere else but not your back. I don't want your low back hurting here. So everything should be engaged. And if it is, bring your knees to the floor. It's okay to bring your knees to the floor. And if you need more modifications, message me. You can send me, write me a text there. I don't know how YouTube works. Send me a message and I will make more movies with more modifications, whatever you guys need. Let's do five, four, three, two, and relax. Very good job today. So let's sit a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go on my knees, heel, and bring your arms, cross your arms. Let's stretch a little bit. Breathe in and out here. Don't let your hands come into your elbow here to push your arm. Bring it in between your elbow and shoulder. The closer to your shoulder, the better, because we're trying to stretch your deltoids. Your shoulders. Okay, let's go to the other side. Breathe. your palms of your hands, hold the one palm of your hand down, palms facing out, away from you. I mean the palm of the hand that you're stretching. Hands is about shoulder height and you're just pushing that hand back a little bit so you can feel this stretch on your forearm. And then let's go to the other side. Keep the shoulder down, don't let your shoulder come up. And then now the palms, are, the palm of the hand you're stretching is gonna face you. 
we're gonna do the same thing but you're gonna feel more the extensors and then this side keep breathing let your breath slow down this was a very good workout it's basically a whole body workout but a little bit more arms I would say now bring one so bring one arm back and then the other arm you're trying to push but don't let your head jog forward try to keep your head back don't let your arms like pull your back like this try to keep your chest up and just try to stretch gotta be feeling the stretch all over your lats and your triceps and then the other side triceps and lats and remember try to keep the head back as far back as you can don't let your ribs come up like mine is coming so engage your core here but head is back as much as you can Good, let's do one more. Bring your hands, interlace your fingers together with the hands back. If you can bring your palms of your hands together, good. If not, that's completely fine. You can just be here. I'm a yogi, so I do certain things just, but that is not, does not necessarily mean it's good. Some people can be hyper flexible at certain points. It just feels good on my body to bring the palms of my hands together. You don't have to. You can go like just interlacing your fingers and you can bring your arms farther up too if you want to I don't not right now good and then from here we're gonna circle the head so bring the right ear to the right shoulder and then you're gonna circle bringing the chin to the chest and then circle all the way to your left ear almost meets the left shoulder and then we circle all the way back keep your core engaged for this one don't disengage your core let's do this five times i love this it feels so good on my neck to the other side now right ear to the right neck right up shoulders for some reason when i'm exercising and teaching i become dyslexic and i can't speak very well and english is my second language so it makes it even harder but <laughs> you got it just follow me to the opposite I think I did four. That's what happens when I talk. And let's do one more. Five. And if I didn't just finish this up. And let's do some breathing just to end our exercise today on a good note. Let's do the Durga breath from yoga. By the way, you don't have to be seated on your on your feet like this. I should have said that in the beginning, but you can see cross-legged. I'm just feeling better today for my knees to be like this. I did like yesterday. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to breathe the Durga breath. We're going to breathe, filling in our tummy. And then, we f and then we bring the air all the way. We're trying to fill our diaphragm, which is the best breath that we can give. So you're going to bring, it's almost like you're trying to bring your last 
rib cages apart here, okay, when you're breathing. And then you bring the air all the way up to your clavicles and then you breathe out from the top to the bottom. And I want you to breathe through your nose. And when we breathe, we're gonna breathe in counting to four and breathe out counting to four. Actually, let's do the four, the box breathing. So we're gonna breathe in counting to four, hold for four, breathe out counting to four, hold for four, because it's amazing and it relaxes a lot. So let's do it together. I'm gonna do it too, so I'm gonna count with my fingers, okay? Let's start. One more, because I messed up the first one. Yes, so I hold for four and breathe out for four. And we have to hold for four. And good job if you finished this, very good job. This was a hard workout. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Joanna O'Brien. I have lighter self, uh, lighterself.com. Now I have this YouTube. I have Instagram as Lighter Self Official. And I also have a Facebook, Lighter Self. I'm a personal trainer, an integrative nutrition health coach. And I have a bunch of specializations. So I help a lot of different clients. I drive to my clients' homes and now I'm starting to do this online too. So I hope I can help you. If you have any, I hope this movie actually helps someone out there. If you feel like you need anything else, you can comment below and I will try to do something for you. If you need some modifications for whatever, just ask me and, and give me some ideas. Whatever you guys want me to make movies of, I'm gonna start making more movies, okay? I'm doing movies by request for my clients and I will listen to whoever wants to ask anything. So I hope this helps. Namaste. And until the next time.